So today I'm going to be talking about a subject that kind of splits the camping and backpacking community a little bit. This is an inner pitch first tent. And over here we've got a, an all-in-one or you can actually just pitch the outer tent first. A lot of people won't have anything to do with an inner pitch tent. So a lot of people, including myself, like a tent that pitches both fly sheet and inner at the same time. Whereas inner pitch first tents, they tend to get a little bit of flack here in the UK, just because if you need to pitch your tent up when it's raining. But actually having a tent that pitches inner first does have a lot of other benefits. So today I'm going to be talking about some of the differences between the two and some of the reasons why I think that manufacturers still like to make tents that pitch in a first. So this is a Terra Nova Southern Cross one. Very typical design for a tent that pitches both fly and inner at the same time. This particular one's got poles that go through a sleeve or they clip on like um, exoskeletal. And then on the inside, you've got your inner, which clips on to the seam of the fly sheet and then clips into the corners as well. So if it was throwing it down with rain today, could have pitched this tent and the inner, apart from maybe the bottom of the ground sheet would have stayed perfectly dry. So moving on, this is the Outkit Ordos 2. On this tent, I had to pitch the inner down first and then build it up onto the poles. And then I had to drape over the fly sheet, clip it on and guy it out. So the big concern for people with a tent that pitches inner first is that if it's chucking it down with rain, the inner section where you're going to be sleeping, putting your all of your possessions and sleeping equipment can potentially get wet, especially if it's bucketing it down. You're going to have to be really quick at putting this fly sheet on. And then you might have to do a little bit of mopping and wiping up when it comes to your inner section of the tent. So the all-in-one pitch, although you keep the inner dry, if it is chucking it down with rain, now I've got my waterproofs on, I've got to get in here to get changed anyway. So I am going to be still transferring water onto the inner part of the tent, although it's not going to be puddles if it's torrential rain. Um, but there is still going to be an element of moisture gets on the inside. So it is actually possible if you get the ground sheet to pitch a tent like this out of first. It is a little bit of a faff though. And for me, I'd rather just get on with it, get it up quickly and just wipe the tent down. I've also seen where people have left their inner and the outer clip together and then sort of fed the poles underneath. Again, that's a huge faff for me. I have done it myself before. Not worth the effort. So for me, just get the inner up quickly and get that fly sheet thrown over the top. But having an inner pitch tent first does have some advantages over the all-in-one pitch tents. So almost all tents that I've had that pitch outer and inner at the same time have problems with tension on the inner. So it is quite flappy. In windy conditions, this makes a lot of noise. You know, this particular model, it does sag a little bit, so you have to constantly, you know, re -tine it up every time you pitch the tent. It's not a biggie, but again, you've got to be crawling into the corners to, to tighten the inners up. But these sections, there's very little you can do about. But inner pitch tents tend to be a lot more taut. All of this section, it's got a lot more tension on it. So it makes a lot less noise, a lot less flapping in the wind. I also find that inner pitch tents seem to have a more consistent gap between the, the inner and the outer fly. Every tent might differ a little bit, but I find that this helps with not getting as much condensation on your inner. That gap just seems a little bit more consistent. So look at this, look. There's a big panel there and that's just able to flap around really easily. But if you want the fastest pitching tent, then an all-in-one is definitely the way to go. I can just pause for a minute and let you know about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. So I'm hoping everybody knows who HelloFresh are, but if you don't, they are a meal subscription service that deliver fresh produce and some great recipes so you can cook up some nutritious food at home. They've got a number of different menu ranges, including the rapid range, which all cook under 20 minutes. They've got a calorie smart range where all of the meals come in at under 650 calories. There's over 100 different recipes each month 
and each meal comes in at only £3.15 per person. The plans are very flexible so you can pause it for a while or skip a week so it fits in nicely with your everyday life. So there's a few reasons why we really like HelloFresh. Firstly, the food's really tasty. The meals are very quick to cook and the recipes are so easy to follow using the recipe cards that they send you. So we tend to order two or three meals a week and it fits in nicely for those busy times when Joe's at work or I've just got back from camping. We think it's definitely worth having a go and HelloFresh have kindly given us a discount code for you to use. If you take a photo of the QR code on the screen, it'll take you directly to the offer. Or if you click the link in the description and use the code HF, Paul 60, you'll get 60% off your first food box and 25% off your next two months. They'll also throw a couple of free gifts in there as well. So big thanks to HelloFresh. Let's get back to the video. So where the inner first tent really excels is ventilation. So it's, it's a lovely day today. If you're in the height of summer, you're up in Scotland and the midges are all over, you need to seek some kind of refuge from your tent. <laughs> You've got to get zipped up in here. And no exaggeration, it's going to be like Steve McQueen when he got put in the cooler. These are sweat boxes in the summer. But sometimes you need to get in your tent just to escape the midges. So an inner first tent wins hands down when it comes to ventilation. If you want to, you can just roll back the fly sheet just to give you a little bit more air. Go back as far as you want or remove it altogether. In fact, if it hasn't been raining, you haven't even got to put the fly sheet on. If there's no rain forecast, you could leave just the, the inner tent up and sleep in that all night. You can crawl inside your tent and just properly sleep under the stars. I know loads of people that do that and I've done that myself too with just an inner tent. If you keep your inner and your outer separate, you know, you can just pitch this up quickly, have your lunch or, you know, just escape the, the midges. <laughs> so you've got all this protection here, but you got, you've got the breeze, you're not you know, melting. You might want to tie a few guy ropes onto your poles if it's really windy but other than that you know, it's a great shelter protecting you from bugs little creatures you get really good airflow and you're not gonna get wet through with condensation so you can also get four season versions of an inner pitch tent so look at the Terra Nova Voyager and the Quasar they're They've been going strong now for 40 years. They've been used in all sorts of conditions around the world. So if you can get over that elephant in the room about getting your inner wet, and inner first tent's actually more versatile. All right, let's get that fly back on. Only takes a minute, look. So another quick thing to mention, when you put in the fly over the top of an inner that's already pitched, you can get some really good tension on it because you're actually stretching the material over a structure that's already there. Whereas the fly on a tent like this, you, you are stretching it a little bit, you just, but you only got to where it clips. So when it gets wet, sill nylon sort of sags a little bit. On a tent that stretches over the outside like this, it's easier to tighten it up again. So I spoke about some of the pros and cons of both types of tent. I've been thinking about what makes a manufacturer choose to make their tent in a pitch first or choose to make it all in one. Terra Nova, for example, some of their best selling scents, the Voyager and the Quasar, they're in a pitch first. But a lot of the smaller backpacking tents pitch all in one. So I don't know if this is fact. I'm just guessing here. So the first reason I can think of is the market that they're trying to hit. So this tent here, can't remember off the top of my head, it's about two kilos. But a lot of that weight comes from all of this hardware, all of these clips, sleeves to hold the poles. It does give the tent a strong structure, but it adds to the weight. A lot of the lighter weight tents 
they don't have all of those clips and bells and whistles. So this fly sheet hasn't got any of the clip hardware on it. There are a few tie out points, obviously, but it makes it a lot lighter shelter. So this is 1.3, 1.4 kilos. This is a two person tent, as opposed to a one person over there, which is around two kilos. Another reason is that they might want to be hitting a price point and manufacturing a fly sheet that's got all of this tech in it, clips, um, all these seams have still got to be waterproof, the more things that you've got going off. So the manufacturing becomes a lot more difficult and obviously a lot more expensive. So this tent is probably about 500 quid now, whereas the Ordos is 240, something like that. But manufacturing a fly sheet, but you've just got stitching on it. There's no hardware other than tie out points. It's much easier to produce. And the fly sheet is the most technical part of the tent. This needs to be waterproof. So the more things you've got going off, such as tie out points, clips, you know, the harder it is to, to manufacture and keep it waterproof. So keeping costs down and ease of manufacture is another reason that I think, anyway, um, is why they choose to make inner pitch tents first. So here in the Ordos, I think it's easier to manufacture tent in this fashion, inner first. The inner just clips onto the poles, the fly just goes over the top. Easier to make, so less manufacturing costs and usually a cheaper price to you. So all of this is just my thoughts and opinions. I don't make tents for a living, so I'm... I can't be sure for the reasons why they choose to make tents in a pitch first or all in one. What I do know though is that we've all got different preferences when it comes to choosing a tent. So being able to pitch all in one and get out of the rain might be a massive factor for you. Being able to remove the fly and have superb ventilation, spend the night under the stars, that might be an even bigger factor. And in my experience you can get quite a decent sized shelter at a very low weight if you haven't got all of this hardware on it for uh, an all-in-one pitch. So if you want a little bit of extra space but having a lightweight tent as well then maybe an inner pitch tent first is the way to go. So if anybody knows if there's any truth in what I'm guessing at or if there's another real reason why tents are made the way they are. If you know different start up a conversation in the comments. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.